Hello and welcome to the TMC Newsroom. My name is Rich Tarani. Thanks for watching us today. We are in San Jose, California. On our program is Kianush Nakshine, who is the president and CEO of Chelsea Communications. Hello and welcome. Good morning, Rich. Thank you for inviting me. So I figured we'd start out by uh, talking about your company and uh, how you solve problems for customers. We have been in business 10 years. Uh, we're the leader in providing uh, fabric conversion solutions to the networking and the data center market. Uh, our products are based on Ethernet and 10 gig Ethernet solutions um, and uh, find homes in <coughs> storage uh, uh, boxes and servers and in general enable you to do virtualization or fabric convergence all in the same wire. So we can run InfiniBand applications unmodified over Ethernet. We can run um, fiber channel applications on modified over Ethernet. And the customers find that by using the same fabric, using their legacy switch infrastructure, that they have to buy less switches, less gateways, uh, less IT personnel, less um, software licenses, less power dissipated. In general, the total cost of uh, uh, acquisition and ownership uh, ends up being much lower to solve the same problem and for the same amount of compute power. So you mentioned a, a few different areas uh, such as fiber channel storage. I mean, there's a few things you talked about. Is there any particular segment of the market that seems to be growing faster than the others? We have a big presence. Uh, uh, so, so the short answer is they're all sort of going together. This is the one bet we made early on that, that to to, in, to invest in all the areas, and we're finding out, in fact, with this fabric convergence, it's a little bit of, it's an all or nothing type of a thing. If, uh, so we get a little bit of revenues from storage, mm -hmm. a little bit from virtualization, a little bit from high performance uh, computing clustering, and a little bit from other areas where people just want to go to 10 gigi or they need a specialized feature or protocol and so on. So no, they, uh, in, in the early adopters, there were uh, storage guys led the way, but now the rest of the data center is catching up in, in terms of on the servers. So I would imagine there's a tremendous increase in compute power and just uh, storage necessity requirements because of video, right? That's, that's, that's got to be yeah, one yeah. of the hot buttons for you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, video is, uh, is, is a driver. Uh, for this. We're also um, uh, seeing uh, uh, in terms of the uh, high performance computing for having low latency and so on. Once sure. you day, pipes get fatter, packets shrink in time, latencies go down. So uh, that's, that's an area, uh, a growth area for us. Uh, the, with the solid state storage uh, uh, coming around, that is shifting the choke point back to the network. Sure. which drives the need for uh, our solutions, type of solution, these offload type of solutions. Because sure. access the, times are just uh, plummeting, yeah, aren't they? Yeah, uh, there's no more mechanical components, so it's everything uh, is, is uh, solid state. So and Moore's yeah. Law seems to be, what we're probably five years away, where just a tremendous amount Yeah, it's just scaling, and storage getting more and more cores. Yeah. Exactly, Mo uh, more solid state, exactly. And also, um, there is a virtualization phenomenon that's fully taken hold now. So there is a given one use server it can generate a lot more traffic than right. it did in the past. Right. Um, and uh, which sort of is driving the need for wanting to share the network pipeline amongst uh, various uh, users. So that in turn um, is driving more uh, of a type of uh, need for the type of solutions that we offer in, in, our, in our products. What's going to be next? What's the future trend that you're seeing? So interestingly, <coughs> Ethernet used to be seven years apart. So the space between 10 to 100 mm -hmm. and 100 to 1 gig and so on. And that was mostly driven by the Phi technology. The Phi technology for 40 gig Ethernet and 100 gig Ethernet uh, are largely similar. In fact, it is similar to 10 gig for the fiber stuff. So you will see a very quick adoption going to 40 and 100, actually quicker than it was in the past. The standards just got ratified. So so first lecture for us is the speeds and feeds, right? So high performance uh, PCI host buses, high performance network links. 
Uh, another vector is um, additional uh, protocols offloaded into the uh, silicon. So uh, smarter, more intelligent, more ritualization protocols and more offload protocols. Uh, and we're also trying to look at layering on some software, additional software on top of our product. We've started with the storage space, but we'll be looking at other areas to, um, to be able to uh, deliver a full solution for our customers, sort of a turnkey solution. So it seems like the future is quite bright. Yeah. So never been better. We just went um, profitable last quarter. Congratulations. Yeah. So we're going to be here another 100 years. So Great. <laughs> Great. Well, hopefully we'll continue to broadcast you in the, in the next, uh, well, uh, probably the next five, ten years. I'm not sure what's going to happen in the next 90 after that. But yeah. <laughs> next yeah. five or ten, I feel fairly comfortable. Yeah, with that it's, it's <laughs> a tougher part of it for five, ten years. You know, uh, global visibility has been decreased, I think, in the last ten That's years right. with bubbles <laughs> bursting and, right. and oil leaks and things like that. Yeah. So, But it was a lot of fun having you on the program and learning yeah, my about what you're up to. So, right. Good luck. Thanks very much. All right. Take it.